大家好，我是一敏老师。Today we are going to learn ten of the most easy and basic Chinese characters for you to start your Chinese character study journey. It will help you to build your Chinese character foundation and make the future study much easier. Okay, let's get started. 上课 Okay, first character: 人 person. 人 Originally, it looked like this. It's drawn a shape of a person, and after thousands of years of change, now it writes like this. This character forms many commonly used words in our daily life, such as 男人 man, 男人 or 女人 woman, 女人 or 大人 adult, 大人 or 雪人 Snowman, 雪人 and this is how we write this character. By the way, the workbook we are using now is our 100 Fundamental Chinese Characters Workbook. It has a book A and a book B. You can see the character here, the pronunciation. And here is a correct stroke order when you write it. And in this part, you can practice writing it. First, you write over the image. It helps you to remember the shape of the character. Then, in this line, you fill the strokes. And in this line, you write over the strokes. But the strokes under it slowly fading, so you can start to write it totally by yourself. And the rest of the table is for you to write without any assisting. And in this part, we have typical example words that formed by this character. On the next page, we have a fun game. There are many characters here. You will need to spot the character that we are learning. For example, 人 person. Let's try spot it. Here I have one. Here another, and、uh, another here. You will find the link of these workbooks in the description box. We also have flashcard of the 100 fundamental Chinese characters. I will link the link in the description box as well. Okay, another character, 大 It means big. 大 is very similar as the previous one, but with one more stroke. The original shape was like this. It's a drawing of a dot, and now it writes like this. Example words made with this character: 大象 elephant, 大象 or 大方大方 generous, 大方 Now let's write the character. Next character, 小 it means small. 小 originally it looked like this, and now it looked like this. 小 typical words made with this character, 小气 stingy, 小气 or 小学 primary school, 小学 Now let's write the character. Next character, 不 it means no. 不 ancient look and current look. 不 typical words example, 不客气 you're welcome. 不客气 or 不行 no and to reject or refuse. 不行 no. 不行 Okay, now let's write the characters.
Okay, next character, 门. It means door or gate. 门. This is the ancient look. It's drawn the shape of the ancient door. Now it looks like this. 门. For example, 开门. To open the door. 开门. Or 门票. The entrance tickets like to the zoo or to the park. 门票. Now let's write the character. Okay, next one, ko. Ko. What do you think it means? It means mouth. The original it looked like this, drawing the shape of a mouth. Nowadays it looks like this. No big change. Ko. For example, ko hom, lipstick, mouth red. So it's lipstick. Ko hom. Or ko shui. Ko shui, ko is mouth. Shui means water or liquid. So ko shui saliva. Ko shui. Now let's write the character. Next one, chu. It means car. Chu. The ancient look was like this. It's drawing the shape of the ancient vehicle. And after being simplified, now it looks like this. Chu. For example, zi xing chu. It means bicycle. Zi xing chu. Zi means automatic. Xing means move. Chu is vehicle. So the vehicle moves automatically. And it means without any engine. 自行车 and another one 火车 it means train 火 it means fire 火车 a vehicle works with fire and how it work in the beginning 火车 火车 now let's write the character Next character, e, it means clothing or clothes. E, originally it looked like this. It's a drawing of the ancient clothing, and uh, nowadays it looks like this. E, for example, 洗衣机, wash machine. 洗 is wash, e is clothes, and the ji is machine. So wash machine. 洗衣机 Another one, 衣柜 衣柜 is a closet or wardrobe 衣柜 Now let's write the character together Okay, next character, 手, it means hand, 手, this is its ancient look, this is current look, 手, it also forms many commonly used words, such as 手机, it means cell phone, which we are using every day, 手机, 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 another word, 二手, it means second hand. 二手, 二手. Now let's write the character together. Okay, 
And last character is xin. It means heart. Xin. Originally, it looked like this. Still, it's drawn of a human heart. And nowadays, it looks like this. Xin. Xin. Example words such as xiao xin. Be careful. Xiao xin. Or shang xin. It means sad. Shang literally means hurt. Xin, heart. So shang xin, like your heart is a hurt, you are sad. Shang xin. Shang xin. Okay, now let's write the character. Okay, that is the 10 basic Chinese characters for beginners. Most of the 100 fundamental characters are like this, with a few strokes and very simple. But other advanced characters are made based on these characters. So it's very important and useful for you to know these characters well. So make sure to study these fundamental Chinese characters. And again, I recommend you to use our workbooks and a flashcard of the 100 fundamental characters. I'm sure you'll like it. Okay, that's all for today's lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. 谢谢你收看我的视频。我们下次再见。见。<音楽>